Indonesians think of foreigners, or as the Indonesians call them, Bule. Bule in Bahasa Indonesia means a foreigner, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us, what do Indonesians think of foreigners? How do you see us? I collect information from my friends. Uh, this is opinion, by the way. So don't take it serious. <laughs> we have a not, uh, what is that? Oh, we don't have, uh, we, we don't want to underestimate or we don't want to say something bad. But uh, yes, don't take it personal. This is yeah, just this other is people's I mean. opinions and do not take it personal and uh, don't be sensitive because, you know, everyone is talking from his experience. Some people, they had good experience and other people, they had experience. Is that? I share it here. Hmm? Well... Okay, why are you call the Because we call it bully. Like bule Arab, this means foreigner from Arab. Bule, bule, aduh, bule Inggris or bule Eropa, it means from Europe. And bule Africa means bule from Africa. Bule, something like this. So I, under, so I understand the correct bule means foreigner. Means foreigner. So yes. you could, you could... But not from Asia, because we don't say foreigner from Asia is bule. So the Japanese are not bule. No. I don't know. <laughs> we don't. We you don't, don't call, call it, it bully Japan yes. <laughs> or bully Korea. Yeah. Bully Arab. So the Arabs will be called bully Arab. Okay. Okay. We Let's will start. give opinion about uh, any bully. Some of them are like Egyptians or Arabians, something like this. Yes, and from my group, I collect information. Egyptian guy name is mostly Ahmed mm. or Muhammad. That's true because most of the Egyptians' name are Ahmed or Muhammad because maybe because of Islam, but this doesn't mean that all the Egyptians' name but Ahmed mostly, or Muhammad. But mostly, because in my group, when we ask, uh, "What's your husband's name? What's your boyfriend or fiance name?" They will mention Ahmed, Ahmed, Muhammad. Sometimes we like make a joke. Is that the same person? <laughs> we have in Egypt a joke. I mean, if you are walking in the street and you are, you call the Muhammad, you will find everyone is looking at you. <laughs> yeah, something like this. Like Me like in that. my house, by the way, in Egypt, I have uh, in our, we are living in a building, and inside this building, there is seven people, their name is Muhammad. Mm. So, yes, maybe Muhammad. yes, true, maybe most of the people are Muhammad or Ahmed. Mm. Okay, uh... Hussein Munawar. Assalamu alaikum, Shifayatus. Shifa. This is my friend Shifa from Banten. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Banten, Indonesia. Okay, knowing Bule. <laughs> okay, number two. Knowing Bule, including Egyptian in dating site, they are friendly and respectful. But some of them sometimes asking our impolite picture or asking to have video call and showing that something each other. Yeah, maybe in your country, it's not a big deal, but of course for not. us, it's... No, it's not. It's a, it's a big deal in every country. It's a big deal in, in everywhere on earth. No one would think this. Maybe he's a scammer. That kind of guy who will ask his girlfriend or a woman that he know on the internet or for a video or photo or something, the, um, this is not called love because love doesn't include this. This is a scam. And the problem is most of these guys, they will, those guys, they will run away from it. They will tell you that I, ah, uh, I was just trying to make a test to see if you will really send me this picture or no, if you will accept this video call or no. Just a way of manipulating, but to take to be honest yeah. this is not acceptable that a woman send a picture or a video for a man for any reason even if he was your husband this is 
maybe only if he is your husband and he's away from you for one or two years, maybe hmm. someone will think that this is logical. But any other situation, it's wrong. It's wrong because you don't know to whom are you sending the picture and they don't know who will see this picture. Maybe he will take it and show it to all his friends. You don't know. So yes, so, yes I agree with you on this point that it's, it's wrong so and it's joking? No, it's men on internet playing games like someone. Yes, but don't expect that everyone in a dating site is a serious and searching for a wife and they will marry next day. Internet is full of scammers. Yeah, you will find the that. you will find the one that will scam you for love. That he just wants to have a girlfriend and he is not serious. You will find the one that he will ask you money. You will find the one that he will ask for pictures and videos. And all of them are not serious. The serious one will, will come to your house and he will ask you and or at least he will try to see you in real life before talking about pictures and videos and other things. Yeah, I know. It's not all of Bule, but... Many, 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 not not some, yeah, many, 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 of, many, of them. many of the owners of the accounts on dating sites, they are just having fun. They are not in dating sites for uh, getting married. They are having fun that I found a woman from any but country and she true. will send me pictures and videos. If woman refused, another woman will accept. If you guys think it's funny, so for Indonesian, this is no, this is crack -clack. You are You are talking to the whole world. Dating site is full of people from Argentina, Brazil, USA, Europe. We are talking in general, okay. not, not about us. It's not okay. a small group. Many of them also, like in the first time, in the beginning, they start, they, they, they are being so polite and friendly. This and is the way, this is the manipulation. Later on? Yes, until wow. she feels safe. Ah. And to convince her that we will marry and I love you and to send me this and to show me that. And try to manipulate her by any way to, to send him a picture or a video. It's all about your... You must have basics in life. You must have... Um, also... Wait, we think also Bule like have free life. Like The problem really is some women agree. Control. The problem is some women agree. And because other women agree, so those women, they encourage them to do the same. So it's it's a mistake from men and from women. It's, it has nothing to do with a country or being bully or not. You can find an Indonesian woman who will do this. And the Indonesian men who will also do this in search of a woman. So because there's something between men and women. We also think, oh, bully, uh, holding hand in public, hugging in public, kissing in public is like normal. In Europe, not in Islamic countries. In yeah, Egypt, it's a crime. Yeah, we think in we Egypt, that. in Egypt, if a man kissed his wife on her cheek, oh, it's public. a crime. It's a crime. In public. In public, in the street, it's a crime. In front Not, of the house. If they were inside their house, uh -huh. and the window is open, uh -huh. it's a crime. It's a crime. Because you allow others to see. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so in Egypt, this can't happen. But the people, of course, don't. Uh, they will not call the police if a man kissed his wife or if uh, someone kissed his daughter in the street. So the neighbors... The neighbors will not call the by police. By accident, oh, we will not call the police. Okay. But, but from the way the people will look at you, you will feel shy from yourself. Oh, like, this, uh, is this is uh, This is Egypt. Huh? Mm. Because it's not in our culture. Even we have a comedian movie about Egyptian man that he went to Europe or America and he saw... Two couples kissing in a car, and he kept watching them. And this is the image of bullying. And they and they called the police for him because he, because he interrupted them. Ah. <laughs> so right. yes. And what about holding hand in public? Normal, normal. Is this normal? Yes, okay. uh, and calling our name, like you call uh, my name. Calling the name, it depends, but mostly. Uh, woman name, I don't know why, but woman name must not be known. I mean, mm -hmm. no one should know your name. I don't know why, but if you found a group of girls, mm. they will try to call each other, but mm. without shouting in the street, uh, 
for 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 telling everyone that this woman is her name is that. So maybe if you are working, people will know your name. If you are famous, uh, your neighbors will know your name. But going to a supermarket and while you buy something from a supermarket or shopping mall, and a friend came and shout your name in a loud voice, and every one around you know your name. Mm. Uh, it's not accepted. They, they don't like it. That's just the election. They see that this is uh, some kind of disrespect. So oh. I don't know how to explain it in English, but okay. it's not accepted. You know? okay. Even when you want to call a woman, you can call her with her husband's name. Like if her husband is Muhammad and you want to call her, I will call her Muhammad. So she will look at me and in this case, or her or her brother. <laughs> okay. And bully. Take bath rarely. <laughs> take bath rarely. It depends. No, I don't know. Why bully. Do you take bath take bath rarely. I don't know. Because we, when when we maybe because bath, you bully. are living in a hot country, that's why you must take bath every five. Minutes. No, not every five minutes. In Europe, two or three times in, in Europe, day. for example, you can't take bath. But like, when they come to Indonesia, zero. when they come to Indonesia, they have to be they will adaptable. Die. They will die for some. <laughs> take bath. So we will think, bully, really take bath, and maybe stank. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, we think about that. And next point, do you have any questions? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Fadil Noor, how are you? Chanta, mm -hmm. you have something in Bahasa? Mm -hmm. Assalamualaikum. Bagaimana kita tahu mereka itu serius apa tidak? Karena rata-rata pria yang ada di situ dating selalu minta yang aneh-aneh, terkadang menghilang. Kayak ada ilmu menghilang dia. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Uh, how to know? They are serious or not in relationship. We will, make, we, will make, we will make we will make a video about how to spot the scammer on internet. We will talk about love scam and the money scam, people who scam you for love on internet. But in general, if you want to know if someone is serious or not, just remember what he said. The liar forget if a liar told you something. And you ask it, him about it after a few weeks or few months, he will give you a different answer because he already forgot. Or if he saw that you believed him, he will think that it's okay. She believed, she believed it, and automatically his mind will remove this situation from his memory. So ask the liar twice. And uh, if he told you something about himself, you will see it. Like when I say that I hate waking up early. My wife realized and we see that it's difficult for me to wake up early because this is my life. This is my mind. My mind is programmed like this. But if I am a liar, she will find me that I will wake up every day early and I am online every day early. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to it, the liar cannot lie forever. Maybe he can lie to you one week, one month. Keep it 50 50, 50 percentage that you are right. And 50 percentage that you are wrong, you are a liar. Don't believe him 100 percentage and don't doubt him 100 percentage. And don't judge anything on internet. On internet, all of us we can pretend. But in real life, everything will be shown. So he can promise you in, on, in, online. But wait to see if he will come or not. This is what will tell you. If he is serious, so he will come to you. If he is not, so he will keep giving you promises. Okay, next. Bully. We think bully, they are good looking and taller than us. Yes, because you are. <laughs> good I, found, I am sorry, but we find on internet that Indonesians are one of the most shortest people on earth. <laughs> yeah, but. And I, this is true. The problem that when I walk in the street, uh, most of them they reach here or maybe a little bit shorter. And the the, the, straight, the weird thing, <laughs> the funny uh, thing that if there is a girl that she is short compared to the Indonesians, like the Indonesians are calling her short. 
uh-huh. when she walked next to me she would yeah. <laughs> look like a child like a small but really? not all of them i saw some uh, indonesians are a little bit but yes yeah. the well, mostly... are, are taller the africans especially from senegal nigeria and uh, most of the europeans in denmark sweden they are taller even sometimes they are taller than arabs how tall are they 180 190 oh, 190 uh, here women also even also women women too. Oh, so oh. it's uh, it's a problem if, if i want to marry a woman that she is taller than me <laughs> <laughs> that's why you try to find indonesian yes but with indonesian i can guarantee that she will not be taller than me. yes you can mm. uh here yeah. indonesian man is 158 156 160. Hmm? Rarely to find over than 170. I am 179. No, you're 180 on that scale in that room. Hmm? This is children's. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Bule is richer than us. Yes, hmm. we think like, oh, Bule, they are coming to Indonesia for vacation. They must be rich. Have too much money to spend. Okay. Don't love. They can buy us everything. Don't laugh if I will tell you something like a fact. Because in, in my YouTube, I had many messages and many people ask me about Indonesia. Most of the men who ask about Indonesia, they think that Indonesia is like Europe. That the currency is high and the life is so easy so they also think like this and people are rich and i will come to marry a beautiful muslim woman and i will live the rest of my life rich why because indonesia is in g20 it has a strong economy and they are rich they are the the next strong economic power after china is indonesia Oh, and we Indonesian think, think that we are rich. Yeah, that's oh, why. That's they why. have dollars. They have pound sterling. They mm. have dinner. They have. That's why you will find that some relationship, uh, some relationships fail because that I think that you are rich and because I you are Indonesian and you rich. think that I am rich because I am Arab. And when we marry, both of us are poor. And we will be frustrated <laughs> because I had a wrong image about you and you had a wrong image about me. So don't search for money. Forget if he is rich, the rich man, he will search for a rich woman. Forget about it. He will not... Uh, a rich man, why a rich man will search for a woman on the internet? Rich man, he already has rich or, or has many women around him because he has money. Maybe because of love. No, 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 no. Why he will love on the internet? He can love online. And or if he wanted to marry Indonesians, he can simply come, pay money, and come and stay in a hotel for one, two, one year. He has money. Wait a minute. I met you on internet. But I'm not rich. You're not rich? Yes. Okay. That's wrong. <laughs> and what about me? Am I rich? You found me on in the internet. Yes, your love is rich with emotions uh, and the feelings. But, but I'm not rich. <laughs> okay, Bule. Anyway, yes, we, we still I don't know. believe. We still don't believe that yes, Bule some has no are money. Rich. Maybe, maybe because of the currency difference. Uh-huh. Like, if American guy or Canadian guy or someone from Europe, he would but be more rich. But how to measure about rich? This is the problem. Rich compared yeah, to who? This is not objective. This I mean, is if I have a car, this makes me rich. If I have two cars, this makes me rich. Because you don't know. I have one car and you have two cars. It means you are richer than me. For example, in Egypt, uh, a European guy, he can come to Egypt and pay about two, let's say, $400, 400 euros, and spend a very good vacation in Egypt. Mm. But 400 euros, in Europe, he can't live with them. So for me, when he come with this 400 euros, I would think, oh my God, he is rich because he pay all this money and stay in five star hotel. Mm. But in his country, he is not rich. He, maybe he is poor. Mm. But the, the currency different and the 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 prices different because Indonesia is cheap. Mm. 
compared to, to life in Europe. Okay, they earn dollar, but they also spend dollar in their country. Yes, but if they earn a dollar and they came here to spend it, they, mm. you will think that they are rich. Because one That's dollar... why we think that, oh, bully, no. they are rich. That's because it. you calculate it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and but, you calculate us wrong. Yes, because having image about people that they are rich, like this country, everyone there is rich. No. America has a homeless and Europe has homeless. Indonesia too. Yes, each country has rich and poor people. Okay, go, go, next. What Having relationship this? with Bule is a prestige. Is it's this... a prestige. Uh, we, it's a pride. Yes, we're proud yeah. to have Bule beside us. Well, this is normal, I think. In Egypt, the same also. I think if uh, a woman married to a foreigner or a man married to a foreigner like me, for mm. example, I will try to show off and be proud. This is something... So, Bule is a pride for us. Bule, oh, Bule is a pride. Yes, I will take the chance. <laughs> but I am a yes, pride even, for everyone. Even if having a picture with Bule, we took picture together with Bule, we'll be very happy. Yes. Yeah. I, because it's a, I have it's a pride, you know? Uh -huh. Maybe we have questions? Uh, we don't have questions. No, yet. okay, let's continue. And Bule, uh, uh, here they go. Partner as a partner for learning or practicing English or Arabic or other foreign languages. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Bule, aha, uh -huh. here we go. We have a partner. I have Bule friend, so I can practice my 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 foreign language. We think like this. This is what I did when I tried to learn English. But I talked with men and women. I didn't mean to, to be in the tech website to learn mm. English. This is so weird. <laughs> but uh, yes, if you want to learn English, talk to a man that from England, from America. If you want to learn French, talk to someone from France. But there is websites that are made for this, not in dating website or on dating app. Mm. Okay, and then next, yes, there is a website to learn foreign language, like Bas Bas Arab. I know this information from my friends. In the many, there is many websites to learn a language. Speaking and to to connect the people together like you teach in Bahasa Indonesia to someone and he will teach you English or French. Mm, something like this. Mm. And uh, possibly one of you is a scammer. So one of the bully? Bully, okay. Bully, oh. Yes, okay. of course it's possible. It Most of the scammers are bully. Yes. I, I was about to be scammed millions of times. Someone sent me uh, email and the message and told me that I, uh, she is working in a bank and uh, there is a milliardaire died and he doesn't have anyone to inherit him and they send me your details and uh, 500 dollars so I will write your name as you are his son by adoption and I will send this money to you and you split it half by half this is a scam or, or they will say I will marry you I will come to you but oh, I'm trapped in the airport I lost my everything or send me Can the you ticket send me? Oh. or send me the ticket or my mother has uh, must uh, make operation or my father has debt and he will be in prison or our washing machine is broken, any excuse to take money. Washing machine. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it depends on the woman. Yeah, so we think, okay, bully, scammer. Just don't send the money. Mm. And also don't accept money because really... he will think of you if you are a scammer. Not <laughs> all of them are honest. Sometimes bully lies about something like their job, their life. So we don't easily trust Bule. Mm. Mm -mm. Not trust you. You don't need to trust someone from the beginning. Hmm. You don't why, need to trust someone from the beginning. Why Bule should lie about their life? Especially in shy, country. maybe. Maybe he's shy. Maybe he, he is expecting that you are better than him and he try to make you feel that he is better than you. Mm -hmm. Like if someone that he is not working and they never had a relationship. Mm. He will not tell you, hello, I am not working, and I never had a relationship in my life. You will run away from <laughs> oh. So he will try to, to show 
himself better than reality so not all of them they mean lying in, in the way of lying but of course if someone is serious he will tell you exactly what how his life is okay that's true and then next some of us check on your facebook or instagram about your life history so when we know ah oh, this is bule come to us so i try to be uh what is it called if you want to like a spy, <laughs> like a, spy? yeah uh, <laughs> i think this is what because everyone bully need, need to be treated like this we yes think like this most, need most to of be the treated. people most of the people they think that you can find uh someone's character from this first book from mm. instagram that's true but i think this is more true for women because women they tend to record and tell everything happened in their life when she wake up hello i wake up when she go with her friends she take picture and upload it when she eat she record take picture for the food and upload it but men uh, some men they don't even to remember what happened yesterday or what they, they eat in the morning so mm -hmm. it's hard it's difficult i mean if you opened my facebook and you didn't find anything this doesn't mean that i'm good mm -hmm. maybe i'm just a person that doesn't upload everything on facebook and the one who uh, will cheat the cheater or the scammer he will not upload anything that can make him quote on Facebook or, uh, or on Instagram. So you are just wasting your time. He is not that stupid to put the, what, the, what are you expecting? You are expecting that you will find on his Facebook other five girl friends that he took to? Mm -hmm. Of course not. He can simply create fake accounts with the fake name of the same picture or different pictures. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Bule is open-minded and straight to the point. Uh, straight to the point, mm. yes, because I realize that uh, some people, I don't know in Indonesia or the people that I met here, but they put intro and after the intro they talk about the subject and after the subject they finish it and after they finish it they come back to the intro again. Mm. And if something happened last year and it happened again today, they will not discuss what happened today. They will start discussing what happened last year first and then today. <laughs> but I don't know. For me, for myself, uh, I prefer to be strict to the point. One plus one equal two. Mm. We don't need to explain that. Realize that two plus two equal four and the three plus three equal six. But one plus one equal <laughs> 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 Like talking from right to left and from left to right. No? Yeah. We they have comment. We have comment. Mana yang kemarin mau tak aruf gak nongol lagi ya beb? Iya nih beb gak tahu kemana ya. Hello my dear friend, siapa kemarin yang mau tak aruf? Do you remember our friend here asking for tak aruf one an Indonesian girl? No, it was account on YouTube and uh... I don't know who. Someone <laughs> yeah. came, said, I want an Indonesian woman. Yeah, many of them. Banyak, jadi... So, to be, on, to be honest, ya. to be honest, I don't know who who has this account. Maybe he is a seven years old child and playing and created account on YouTube. And so, I, I will not that? make, I will not make random people talk to random people. And after one of them is a scammer or thief or criminal or whatever. Come and blame me because I met him on your channel. No, I can suggest for you someone that I know in real life. I know and I know his family and I know everything. Yeah. Okay, but, I will not give any suggestions. But random but... person on the internet, you don't know. Maybe he's a scammer. Maybe he will take your picture and, this, and kill you and kill your kidney. It's okay, gonna... <laughs> okay. We can't, we can't guarantee. We will never guarantee because yes. we don't know them. Huh? Okay. But we will make like a challenge. So for you guys, my dear friends in this channel, if you are really serious to find uh, your wife to be or your husband to be, maybe you can put your 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 account, Instagram account or Facebook account, 
But it will not be accepted in YouTube comment time, I think. I am not accepted. Yes, because the links are not accepted. Or a number. Yes, yes. My my friends in the group just give a trick, like mention. Yes, but are you ready? Number. Are you ready to put your number and all the people who are watching the video will call of you? Of course, with a clue, but, not like plus six to plus six to eight something because something. No, of course not. But maybe with with letter or something, or with a clue. Or better to decide which dating site or dating ad that you all of you will go to it, so you can meet each other in the dating website easier, so they can see each other better. But for better life, why should choose dating apps <clears throat> then? If if you say that, bule in dating site is not rich. <laughs> yes, if someone wants you in real life, you will find him walking in the street in front of you, not on the internet. Okay, guys. But actually, this is not one hundred percent true because you can also find rich bule by online on the dating yeah. site. If you are lucky, and if they, you are lucky, if he has so. time, I'm lucky to have you. I'm okay. rich. Sometimes uh, not. there is another point that we forgot. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes we dot and scare when you talk about marriage in the early setting. Uh, yes, you have to doubt and be scared when you talk about marriage in early chatting because this is a it means, red flag. It means bully also this is talk the first, about this. This is the first step of manipulating. And this is a red flag. Why? Because the person that he on dating website or dating app and he is trying to manipulate or scam others, in the first week, maximum in the first week, he will say, I love you. First, this means that he is not adult, or maybe his mind is not mature enough. And it also means that he wants something else, because it's impossible, impossible to fall in love with someone and decide to marry him or her in the first week. It needs long time to know the person and to know everything about his family, his life, and his personality to decide to marry him. So yes, you must be scared if someone in the, very, in the beginning of the chat he told you that I love you or I want to marry you or talk like this or try to pretend that he is serious. Yes, you must be uh, scared. Some of Bule, some of Bule this is someone married. This is someone, hello, how are you? My name is uh, Hashem, I want to marry you. No. Marry in Lisbon. <laughs> okay, what is next? Or sometimes they ask for the first time, are you virgin? Uh, this is just someone that he wants to be sure if you are virgin or not, because uh, you know that Indonesians are also portrayed for the Arabs. Because Indonesia has many religions and has many good and bad places. There is nightclub. Some people, they came to Indonesia, they saw the mosques and they saw women with niqab. And others, they came and they saw nightclubs and the drugs. So both of them, they have different image about the country. Like I hear the people, they told me that this country, it's not Islamic country. Who told you that it's Islamic? It's not Islamic at all. It has this and this and this and this. And the others told me, no, Indonesia is extremely Islamic. All of them, uh, they pray and all of them, they memorize the Quran. Mm. Both groups are wrong. Okay. And then Indonesians also think, uh, worry about this virginity. Bule? Huh. Maybe... He is not virgin anymore. Maybe he. It depends did on the country. The free it, depends, life. it depends on on the country. Like because you, when you search for someone from another culture, accept him with his culture. Like don't take a man from Europe and when you found him drink alcohol, or had a relationship with another woman, or treat you in the European way, complain. Don't uh, take someone from outside Indonesia and expect him that he will behave like the Indonesian. No. Mm. This is unfair. Yeah. But we think like this. Yes, he think like this. In, because in this our is image, life. Bule has free life. Yes. And then, then some... You have freedom. 
it depends it depends on on where did you came from normally most of the people who are living in the village the villagers around the world they share the common way of life they are not so open like people in the city next uh bully strong character but like hello kitty this is me no actually this is from my friends it's not my opinion i love hello kitty strong character yeah so yeah hello kitty no like look <laughs> like character. hello kitty huh? <laughs> they are like hello kitty what is hello kitty character actually i don't like because they like they like, like hello kitty, kitty itself or they look they like hello kitty I don't watch they are look kitty. like never watch it. they are look like hello kitty they have this soft thing. cute <laughs> maybe this is what they interpret no. they explain the character and next bule yes bule love wearing same clothes ah. it's men not bule it's men yes, women men i will tell you Women. Because my friends are mostly women. Of course, this is about men. We are talking about men. Ca women care about the color of everything. Yeah. Her hijab, her clothes, her shoe, her socks, her gloves, uh, everything. Men wear the first thing that his hand can reach. Even there is a picture for the owner of Facebook and Alibaba and uh, Bridget. The three of them they wear jeans and shirt. while they are same color yes because no, because the men never care if you, if you ask it any woman what was your friend wearing yesterday or last week in a party she will remember she will remember the hijab and the shoe color and maybe the shoe size and the bag but if you ask it me now what is your friend is wearing i don't even realize it it's not about color or types or the models of because the men women. don't care about clothes this this is facts. no no what we mean is bule love wearing the same clothes not same color but it means like what you wear today you will wear again tomorrow yes, and if you didn't the take day it after tomorrow if, and the next day next day next if day. his wife didn't take it from in front of him he will keep wearing it until his wife take it because men wear the first thing their hand can reach What about if they don't have wife yet? Wife yet? He will not care. That's why this is yes, this is bullet in our image. This is not ah, bullet. They don't take. Wife. This is not bullet. This is men. And in Indonesia, <laughs> here you will find men. They are doing the same. But you don't realize. Bullet don't take it. bath and don't change their clothes for days. Come on, maybe for weeks. The same clothes. We Indonesia always change our clothes every day. But it's about women and the men, not about Indonesia and uh, please. I told you this is about men because my friends, this is this survey. Let's say it's survey. This opinion is from my friends. Most of them are girl. All of them are girl. Because women, they care about clothes. Men, they don't. So this care is true. Clothes. Yes, woman yes, will be shy. True. The woman will be shy if she wear the same. color <coughs> not the same shirt It's the same color. color if she That's... wear another not man yeah. can wear the same shirt you have all to the wash time it. even if he wash it he has no problem in washing it and wearing it again he has no problem in it but woman how come my friend will say that yesterday i wear this color <laughs> yes this, this means wearing <laughs> same clothes means you don't change your clothes so Yes. Maybe clothes, maybe some really of them they don't week, change. Weeks, yes. three weeks, one month. Yes. Yeah. And next, bule hardly to say sorry to apologize. It depends. I this is I know yeah, this is too depends. much. This is about the personality. Yeah, this is about personality. Back Because to the personality. And the most of women don't apologize. By the way, this is what. <laughs> Because we have <laughs> women are right. <laughs> women is always right. Yeah. See? Mm-hmm. That's why they don't apologize. Mm. So what? If there is mistaken, it means it's on you. Mm. The man, the husband, boyfriend. It's not on uh, us, women. And but oh yes, next love costing bullying. Like you easily say I love you in the first time. 
the beginning of chatting and the next day you will start asking many things and the next day you will suddenly bye bye disappear yes this and is little really. signs why i i did, because he <clears throat> he did a mistake why chatting to free or from and i took i explained this before and I will explain it again. When a person in a dating site, imagine that you are going to, you are dealing with humans, with people, not with items. If he talk to three or four women at the same time, he will say, hi, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. He will keep saying the same question and the same answer to all of them. And then he will start to comparing which one of them I must continue and he will neglect the other three. That's why this poor little woman, she found that she started talking with him, but he preferred another one. Mm. He, what he should do is talking to the first woman until he decides if he wants to continue with her or I can't make it with it. And then if he decided that he doesn't want the hair, so he can simply leave her and start talking to the second. But talking to three people and to compare between them, for me, this doesn't give a chance for any of them to show her real character. I mean, give, at least to give each one of them one week or three days, give fair chance for all of them. Not, But this is what most men do. They spread messages everywhere. Mm. And they see which one of them will reply. And then which one of them because the man is also searching for a handsome, religious, uh, sorry, uh, pretty, religious, rich woman. No one wants to marry a poor woman. No, that is, she's poor than him. No one wants to marry a woman that she is uh, ugly or not religious or older. Every man wants a young woman. Uh, so you are not the only one who is searching for handsome rich men. He is also searching for beauty and for money. Keep mm. this in mind. So if you think that you can talk to two men, for example, or three men, and see which one of them will love me more or which one of them is more rich or which one of them is more handsome, he is. the three of them are doing the same. They are talking to other women. And they compare you between them, which one of you more pretty, which one of you has more money, which one of you will love him more. Because mm -hmm. to marry a rich man or a man in general, it's love and take, it's give and take. You, he will not give you love and the money while you don't give anything. Mm -hmm. You must give something. And uh, we were talking in the morning about this. Mm -hmm. I saw before in TV... Uh, they were asking girls, random girls in the street, what do you want to marry? What is your ideal man? And one of them, she said, uh, I want to marry a rich man. And they told her, why a rich man will marry you? So I want also women to ask themselves this, if you want to marry Boulay, who is rich and handsome. Tell me, or tell yourself, don't tell me, tell yourself, why a Boulay, that he is rich and handsome, will marry you? Why he will choose you and he will not choose other Indonesians, for example, or I will not compare with women who are already pretty and rich in his country, but let's say that in, in your country, in Indonesia, why he will choose you and he will not choose other? Okay, good. The topic is finished. So which one is, which point do you agree? Love ghosting, rarely take part, hard to say sorry. Love wearing the same clothes, didn't change it. Strong character, but look like Hello Kitty. And Bule is open minded. Bule is so scary when they ask about us to marry in the early chatting. And Bule is richer than us. Bule is good looking, taller than us. Bule could be a partner for learning and practicing English. Bule is possibly a scammer. Bule is a liar sometimes. Yes, not only Bule, I guess. We are also a liar sometimes. And Bule love showing their 
something and ask ask you for pictures uh, to show uh, uh, something on picture or video for video call which one is that which one do you agree which one do you oh, i have questions which one do you agree which one do you agree with? Yeah, of course I'm here. Yes, I'm asking which one you agree. I will answer it later. You don't you disagree with all of them? Me? Yeah. The point. The point. Zep Sangoy mostly name Ahmed and Muhammad. Yes, that's true. Good looking. Some of them are polite. Men men are impolite. So don't search for polite men. So in fact, when male friend sit together, the polite one, they will call him a girl. So don't search for a polite man. He will be polite in front of you and in front of your family. And this is enough for you. But don't search for 100% polite person, like a child. So no. Oh, thanks Good looking, taller, all men, including your father, your grandfather, your brother, your son, every man. But of course, he will not tell you. I mean, your father in, in the house is totally different than your father with his friends in, in men private meeting. Mm -hmm. This is men thing. It's like when women gather together, they have their own woman talking, <laughs> have their own woman thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, good looking, taller than us. Mm -hmm. That's uh, true. We are good looking, as you see, alhamdulillah, and Please taller than you. Yes, taller than the Indonesians, richer than us. Maybe, yes, as we said, because of the currency difference only, but not in every country, because some countries, Bule, Boer. Mm -hmm. Bule is Having a relationship with Bule is a prestige. You can tell me about it, because I don't know if you will have a relationship with me. There is prestige it for you or not. Um, he is uh, learning English partner for learning languages in general, yes, because if you are interested in learning his language, this will be the best thing to have a chat with Abule. Possibly one of you is a scammer, yes. Dating What's websites, internet is full of scams. Mm. Maybe I can tell you that 90% of the people are scammers and the 10% are pretending to be someone else. Everyone pretending to be more happy or more beautiful or more rich. No one will tell you the truth and no one will come and tell you all his negative side. So you must be aware of this. Sometimes you lie about something like your job and your life. This is related to the point that we were discussing now. Mm -hmm. uh, don't easy trust any person. That's true. You don't need you met a someone on internet, you don't need to trust a picture and a name. At least, at least have a check. Mm. Uh, what else? Bule is scary when they ask to marry in early chatting. Yes, this is true. Yes, this Bule is, is open-minded? Yes. Yes, it's true. And strong character, but look like Hello Kitty. I don't understand how look like Hello Kitty, but strong character is... Because uh, I saw most of the Indonesian men here are more cool. Mm. Bule love wearing the same clothes, not didn't true. change. Not true. Uh -huh. Wrong. Okay, but this is our perspective. Bule hardly even say sorry to apologize. This is also wrong. This is personal. Love does change. And rarely take part. This is also this wrong. Is true. And we have questions. Let's answer, but it's uh, a little bit longer. Ceritain, babe, gimana perkenalan kalian? Sepertinya seru deh. Um, she wants to know about how we met for the first time. It's raining. It's Lama raining. Lama I was in a data website and I found her pictures. We talked. Normal, general talking. My character is going straight to the point. So I told her my negative things in my character, or let's say the things that are extremely important to me. Like I have a list of one, two, three, four. I need this in my wife. Mm -hmm. So I asked her, 
If you agree, right. if you agree, we can start a conversation. If you didn't agree, so no need to waste our time because I need these four points in my future work. And I asked her to do the same because I don't want to start a conversation and start to like each other and get used to talk to each other and they feel like we fall in love. And then one of us find something that we dislike or we have a problem, like smoking, for example. I smoke and I don't have, um, I am not ready to stop smoking. So don't expect me that you will marry me and after marriage you will ask me to stop smoking. Some women, they do this. They don't want to marry a man who smokes and they think that, okay, you can smoke for now, but after marriage I will ask you to stop. So I was clear in everything and every small detail and also she, this is why this made the relationship or the conversation easier. And continue, you continue. <laughs> oh, okay, so we will reveal our secret. Continue, huh? Okay, in English or in, in English? In English. Yeah. I have bad experience to know Indonesian men. So I started not in, not being interested in Indonesian men anymore. So I tried to join uh, dating apps, hopefully to find a foreigner to marry with me. So, uh, but, but at the same time, my family, especially my uncle, set me up with uh, son of the school and we did istikhara but in my istikhara it's like i got a sign that he is not the one he's not the one because and then you met me yes and then <laughs> i yeah. met you because they wanted to know how we meet each other they don't want to know yes. how your history they want to know how we yes this other. is the point not why we could marry you just didn't answer the questions by the point this is the story so when we found each other yes he's straight to the point and i like it so i'm honest i answer everything his questions and we move to messenger okay oh, continue okay. before the rent but no, it's not YouTube anymore. I think we have to end the video call. No, it's not video call. I mean this uh, live streaming, and we can answer it another day, maybe next meeting. We will see if it's continue or ending. This is in Goresia. Okay, I guess it's not rainy season anymore, but we still have rain. So we think that we will have to go because yeah. of the rain. Maybe you will not be able to hear us. Also not be able to hear. Mm. So maybe we can answer your questions in another video. Okay. Yeah. Like no, another rain. video. We'll and make a special video, video about this. Mm. The rain is stopped, so we can continue. What? You can continue. Okay. Mm. Uh, yes, we move to Messenger and we get to know each other. And day by day, we start to trust each other. And after a few months, right? Mm -hmm. Our family also gather in our in video, call. In video call. And we start also to know each other. And yes, we prepare for everything because we both are really serious to marry. We prepare all the documents. He sent me document by soft file on my email. And I tried to translate it in the Swan translator. And we prepare the documents applied in KUA and applied for his visa. I am being his guarantor, the sponsor. And 
Finally, we met each other in the airport. This is the first time we met in Rio. And four days later, we married. That's it. How did you feel when we met each other? <laughs> I was late that day. <laughs> I was late that At day. that day, I went to the airport with my family. You knew that because we will go to my sister's to see her baby. Mm -hmm. My niece. And I came to you to International Airport in Sukarno Hatta, waiting for you because your ticket flight should be at 11.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. at the time, but I don't know, something wrong. You came so late and I share it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course, this is your question, but <laughs> So I will answer it. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, then. I was so worried. I thought you will not come. But your brother and sister called me and chat me on my WhatsApp. At that time, your mobile phone was off. Do you think that my mobile will be on while I'm flying? <laughs> Yes, that's true. But you say, <laughs> no, no, this is off because your battery is off. You say, yes. you told me. And even if my battery was on, I can't go to the toilet. I the know, weekend. but at least when you arrive, because I I waited for you for, I don't know how long, because I arrived at that airport at 7 p.m. And I've waited for you until around 2 a.m. Can you imagine mm -hmm. waiting for you there? You should record it. And I don't know <laughs> what you look like. You don't know. You know how I look like. But on but video call, life, no, on video life. call or in real life, so how come I could recognize you the people, way you walk, the way you look, look? Look different in real life. Than, yes. Than in video call. And there are also maybe like Turkish airline or something, another airline. Many Arabian guys came out from the gate, and I thought, where is my, where is my man? So you were waiting which one of them will come to you. Yeah, there, there was also like an artist got interviewed in that <clears> airport. <throat> I thought it was you. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. And then I asked also to the officer in information star in information table. Mm -hmm. They said that your plane was landing, but until how many hours you didn't it's, appear? It's a bole, not blue. Bole in Bahasa Indonesia means foreigner. Foreigner. Bule, not blue. Blue is color. Bule is foreigner. Blue, blue bule. is English. Bole is Bahasa Indonesia. It means foreigner. Foreigner. They call the Arab foreigners. They call bule them bule Arab. Uh, bule Europa, bule Australia means a foreigner from Australia or foreigner from Europe. But not from Asian. We don't call bule for Asian. I don't know why. But mm. maybe this is only for in my area. Maybe the non-Asians the non are called bule. Yeah. Because maybe the Indonesian and the Malaysian and the, most of the Southeast Asia, they almost look like But other, some of us, some of us Indonesian also think bule is only uh, the one who has white color and color mm. eyes blonde. blue mm. yeah and color hair blonde mm. gray something like this no. arab sometimes we don't call them bule we call them arab they, yeah we call them arab but in common in madura we call bule arab bule pakistan bule australia bule america bule Europa, something like that mm -hmm. Good thing. Um, <coughs> our, then, story. our story oh yes the thing that i I will never forget it. Is you came right after everything is closed. The gate, the, the door is almost closed, and the gates for the luggage is closed. And in that waiting room, mm -hmm. let's call it a waiting room. What is that called? The room to wait for the foreigner from for international the arrival. Flight. Arrival. Ah. It's gate. almost being empty. So, and you came, you you got lost. You got lost. Because I after I finish, I will tell you what happened. 
Okay. So you wore this blue shirt and jacket and backpack and luggage, big luggage, and my heart told me this is your man. This and I start to call you. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but so silly when I called you baby. I <laughs> baby a I didn't see you because it was Yeah. But can you we were I take a you bus from me. my house four hours hmm. to the airport. Hmm. I waited in the airport for another three hours or four hours. Hmm. And then I take the flight from Cairo Airport, International Airport to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Hmm. Two hours and then I stayed another three hours in Jeddah. And then I take about nine hours flight to Jakarta. Hmm. So the battery impossible to last all this you time. You didn't bring power bank. <clears throat> and even if I had a power bank, I don't have Indonesian number. I went to Jakarta. The hmm. the plan uh, leave, left Saudi Arabia, left Jeddah, uh, late, 30 minutes late. And we arrived in Jakarta 30 minutes late, so the flight was one hour late. And then we waited for the luggage, and after the luggage, when I asked about the door, the workers or someone in a reception, I don't know what he was doing, he misunderstood and then asked me, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to Bali? Do you want to go to Bali? I told him, no, I want to go to the door. He answered me, do you want to go to Bali? Do you want to go? <laughs> he doesn't know anything, but do you want to go to Bali? <laughs> I took the passport. I told him, no, thank you. And then I looked around, and then I tell I found where the arrival should go. And uh, then I found you. Yeah. That's why I was... And you know so what was on my mind? I was also frustrated well, because I, I thought that you left. Because I, I, was, <laughs> I was so frustrated. If your your brother sister didn't call me, asking me, and to know my situation here, my conditions, and told me about your flight, so maybe I will leave you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would do this. This is what I expected. Ah, my feeling, I thought like this, you didn't come. Mm -hmm. Okay, this guy didn't appear yet. Maybe he changed his mind. Maybe he saw me from somewhere away from me and changed his, and changed <laughs> his mind. Yeah, because at the time I didn't wear any cop, you know, you can see my face. Mm -hmm. Maybe he disliked me. Maybe many bad things here, but I'm still trying to wait for you until the end, until the airport closed. I thought this airport never closed, but it's, you know, the land is almost mostly closed, mostly mm -hmm. turned off. This was so weird. Though. Yeah. The airport, we were alone. We and my mind flight, also we start thinking about what about canceling our marriage while our documents being submitted already? Yeah. What a shame. <laughs> yes. What should I say to my parents, my big family, my friends? what should i say so and we spend many things time energy money to prepare everything for our marriage should it be cancelled this is on my mind <laughs> I, I i really want to cry at that time you know and also i think about what if he come and didn't like me or he come and i don't like him this yes. is what I thought about. Maybe you will find me yes. different than the picture. Maybe that, this, maybe, and they were using fake. fake picture. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is fake. But even if we do video call, maybe you have good technology and changing your face, being more handsome. It's possible there is programs that can do this. Yes. And to be honest, on a video call, you look not this so charming, you know, not look so attractive. Yes, I look better in real life. You all look better in real life. So once I saw you for the first time in the airport, my heart so pounding. <laughs> my heartbeat is like I can hear from my ear. I really want to hug you at that time, but I still remember that you're not my husband yet. Mm. And I really want to go take you home to Pamukasan and go to KUA and let's go marry. Do you remember when, when you said that 
let's go to find Imam right now yeah. at 2 a.m. <laughs> 2 a.m. Let's find yes, because Imam. You were, let's yeah, go, I saw man. Your you were so frustrated. <laughs> of course, frustrated, waiting for over the six hours. Alhamdulillah. So this is how we met. And do you forget? She forgot mm. about the important point that in the beginning, what she told her father about our relationship, mm. he didn't say yes and he didn't say no. He told her to ask me and for her also to breast the Khara. He said mm. that she must breast the Khara and I have to breast the Khara and leave it for Allah to see where everything will take us. And I really like this opinion and I followed it. I breast the Khara and she breast the Khara. Mm. And we just left the control for Allah. We left everything for Allah mm. and to see where it will go. And we found it that it ends in in a way better than what we were thinking. Like if we are the one who were planning for it, Alhamdulillah, it finished in a way better than us. And don't worry about leaving the country because if you come here, we, we believe in this thing. If you came here you have to, to Indonesia, it means well. your risk would be in Indonesia. You came here to take your part, to take your right. What Allah already... Yes. Um, make make you and set you about the street, right? No, most of the Indonesians they can speak English. All the educated, uh, all the educated women who are graduated from university, they can speak English, because uh, to apply for university in, in Indonesia, you must pass uh, exam. Pilots or token? Mm, yeah, but it depends on the university. But most of the universities, universities depend on the grade. Most of them, but she means that mm. most women they can speak English, not uh, mm -mm. Because you say that in my university. Because you think that your your English is better than the rest of the country. In fact, they can speak English yeah. and they speak Arabic too because there is many Islamic boarding schools. So I met many Indonesians who can speak the three languages, Bahasa, Indonesian, and English, and Arabic. We also have our traditional language, yeah. Uh, talking about this English, um, not all university targeted... Where, where did you learn English? This is the rest of the question. Where did... I learn English for the first time from my dad, by the way. From my daddy. Mm -hmm. I learned English from my dad while my dad is not an English teacher. He was an uh, Islamic teacher. Mm. Chief of headmaster in one of Islamic school. But he really wanted to have children who can speak English. So me and my sister, we both speak English. And where did but, you learn? Yes, because because my dad my dad is not native, of course. And at that time, I was born in 1988. So at that time, there is no televisions. Only yes, we have television, but black and white, not color television. So information is so limited. There was no internet. Yes, there is. There was also no internet. So my dad's only teach me and learn me by using dictionary. <laughs> and mm. I tried to learn when I got a uh, present television from my dad. I watch English movie and try to understand it that I totally don't understand. So. And after you, you, you entered the school? You yes. Learn in the school? I got, I got English on my junior high school. <clears throat> so the then Indonesian can learn school. English in school? At that time, yes. Nowadays, you can start learning English since you were kindergarten. Mm. Because the question, changed. he mentioned that most of the Indonesian don't speak English well. No, no, no. Most of us also can speak English well. So this is why he's asking about how Because he thinks that most of the Indonesian don't speak English, so he's asking how come did you learn English? They can understand English, they can talk English, but the great, of course, barriers, mm -hmm. it depends on, on practicing, also. yeah, practicing. 
some of them they don't we know but they don't practice like I'm like english in our arabic english. like english in our arabic countries we we learn english in in the university or in the school but mm. not everyone practice it some people they know only yes no how are you mm -hmm. and the rest and others maybe better than me and you mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so don't worry we also learn english at school and also arabic but my arabic is worse don't test me please i met no uh, the the indonesians who <laughs> learn arabic here in the school in islam boarding school their arabic is very perfect because they speak in Fusha and they know the Arabic grammar, which is so difficult, even for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, nice, they are quite nice, they can speak Arabic very well. Mm -hmm. so, I'm still learning Arabic. Yeah. <clears throat> so continue your, uh, your story. After story? you make the Stakhara, it works. Yes, yes it and I, there was sign. a point, there also was a point I want to talk about that we had your experience, everyone experience before coming to Indonesia, talking about the visa, talking about the QA, what are the documents needed, what are... <laughs> and we were searching on the internet and asking mm -hmm. everyone what documents needed. And even because I am graduated from law, I studied law, so I have to read the Indonesian law. I searched for the Indonesian law and I downloaded it in English and then translate it to understand it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So don't think that your struggle is last forever. No. Uh, if you concentrate, you'll find that everything is it's just only few documents that you will need for Mary. And once you prepare them, everything will be smooth. Right? Mm. So I think that's all. This is only opinions, you know, so please don't take it as a personal, mm -hmm. like you said. It is opinion. I'm so sorry if it's yes, like he this said is opinion in about some point. The, the foreigners. This is what in some Indonesians think. This is depends on their own point of view, their mm. own experience. Mm. Don't take it personal. And we have to go now because it will rain again, I think. Mm -hmm. And see you in the next slide next video. Yes, oh, tomorrow. Thursday. Be... Mm -hmm. Still Thursday. Still Thursday, Thursday Thursday. No, still in Indonesia. Here Thursday. Yeah. Tomorrow will be John. Yeah. And uh, hope to see you well in the next video. Anyone has any question, ask us in the comments. Don't forget to share and like Don't this video. Don't forget to ask anything. We will answer you, inshallah. And and the one who didn't subscribe to the channel, mm -hmm. subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. And see you soon in the next video, inshallah. Inshallah on Bye -bye. Monday. Inshallah oh, on Monday. Monday night, 10 p.m. Indonesian time, Jakarta time. 5 p.m. Cairo time, 3 p.m. GMT Greenwich time. Okay. Okay. So bye bye. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye.